Okay, so I don't want to deal so much, of course, with the astronomical interpretation here, but we're going to absolutely show the connection that this circle count has to this being here inky and the connection that the segments of this spiral are going to have a connection to 19.5. Now, of course, there's already been much work that shows that this circle incorporates pi, the golden ratio, and all of these other amazing mathematical forms of symmetry, if you will. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. That's something that you can see. You can Google research. You can find that information. It's basically, in a sense, kind of mainstream. It's the obvious. What I'm showing you is the deepest root, that this is trying to give a message and reveal the planned fulfillment of this spirit identity in a material form. So we're going to look at it from that perspective right now. If you were to understand this spiral as being the rising Kundalini serpent, okay? And then, of course, as we see on the video, that these circles are kind of admitting another thin line of space around them, in essence, a vibration that we begin to see grow as this circle or spiral or serpent begins to ascend upwards. If we look here in the center, we're going to have this picture to the spherical shape. In the center of the spherical shape, we're going to see seven dots. To the outside of the spherical shape, of which the serpent is coiling around, we're going to see another dot. Now, the astronomical interpretation is going to put this as the planet Jupiter, which is highly significant. But if we want to go to the deeper fractal view, this is going to represent the Apsu, or the abyss, of which this being is emerging out of. This central location, of which the astronomical interpretation this cluster of these seven points is going to be interpreted as the Pleiades. Listen to this again. This spiral crop circle in Fabrico, Italy, shows a triple alignment of the Pleiades, Jupiter, and Venus on the Mayan calendar date equal to our modern date of June 23rd, 2012. So a few days after we had this alignment on June 23rd, this crop circle shows up. Now we have Jupiter here, we have the Pleiades here in the center. What the crop circle does not show is it doesn't show Venus in this alignment. But the circle interpreters who see this as an astronomical alignment understand due to the degrees of this alignment that that's exactly what it's saying. In its astronomical interpretation, you'll be able to find that out. What I want you to focus on at this point, as I said, is that this is going to be the, ab the absu or the abyss, the bottomless pit, and that this connection here is going to be the chakras. And then we're going to further symbolize the chakras as being this number seven, which is going to connect us to what we just read within this chapter of the Book of Enoch. And I'm going to go ahead and read it again. And there I beheld seven stars like great blazing mountains and like spirits entreating me. Then the angel said, this place until the consummation of heaven and earth will be the prison of the stars and of the host of heaven. The stars which roll over the fire are those which transgress the commandment of God before their time arrived, for they came not in their proper season. Therefore was he offended with them and bound them until the period of the consummation of their crimes in the secret year. Well, that's exactly what you're seeing here in the beginning of this crop circle. You're seeing the representation astronomically being connected to the Pleiades at the center. Of course, with the alignment itself, which is beginning to magnify the presence of these supposed coming Pleiadians, which would be the aliens, which are also connected to these fallen sons of God of Genesis 6. Well, now we see that this is now manifesting its connection to the rising Kundalini as it goes through the seven chakras of which these fallen sons of God offered this information to the people of those ancient times in Genesis 6. It's a part of some of that knowledge of good and evil, which was offered in the beginning of the garden. I'll be back.